Today is the day. Bye, love bites. By the way, if you watch from YouTube, we're live on Twitch. Twitch. Okay. Uh huh. Came in heavy as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly, I like the sound design though in the beginning. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that was really good. We got the uh, got Sorry. the octaves too. Fuck yeah! Yep. I'm almost fed oh, that. Yeah. Oh yeah! The keys. Yeah, man. Uh, I love half gelt rips. I knew that was coming. <laughs> da, 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 I knew that was fucking. I should have paused it before. Oh, I was nice. like, half gelt rips are coming. I love when it was like in mid gelt. Then, then like it's like almost like it reminds me like like you're about to like throw up, but then you can't. <laughs> I don't see why, but uh, sure, yeah, like, bleh, bleh, sure, buddy. And then you stop. But anyways, it's really cool. That's, that's I like cool. all these interesting note choices though in this song. It's really cool. It's a dope song. I like this. Yeah. Back okay. that up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Attached. Just attached. Just like all the way. Yeah, there you go. Yo, that underlining melody is really cool because it's not following what Asami is doing with vocals. Like, and then, but then she's doing something different completely up top. Yeah. 
I couldn't even stay focused with you, Eric, because I was like, wait, there's so much weird shit going yeah, on in the solo. <laughs> like, okay, I was like, wait, let me decipher this real quick. Let's hear that again. <laughs> That's chromatic. Got a little minor, a little harmonic going on. So they're switching up the scales, like going through. Mm. It's most of it's minor uh, in the minor scale, but they went to a chromatic kind of thing. But sounded really cool, almost like almost like the Slayer solo style. His last two songs jumped up in complexity like tenfold. Um, yep. That's crazy. I just see someone say something in the comments. Oh, I hate to see it said it's very easy to identify when a song is written by Miyako. Uh, this kind of complexity in playing with the pentagrams is always her thing. Ah. Oh, did she write these last two though? Because these last two were both pretty complex compared to the rest of the songs that start yeah. off. Maybe the first one was like in the middle. The first one was in the middle. Um, I really like but, the, yeah. the neoclassical shreddage they had going on. It's pretty yep. cool. Pretty cool. Right, yeah, this one, there's a lot of neoclassical. In the yep. solo, in the solo, yep. they did that. I like that melody. I'm glad that melody came back. That dun 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 dun. Nice. That was cool. That was cool. I like that song. I, I liked it a lot. I I think I like the last one better. I like these last two a lot more so. I like the solo in this song better for sure. Yeah, the yeah. neoclassical style solo. But with they still had like the chromatic uh ism in there, like uh that like that slayer sound. And then they still had like your minor sound. So she mixed it up between scales quite a bit in this one. Cool. So that's pretty cool. 